video, I'm going to be showing how to use an empty number line. So in our homework and on the kids' problem sets during the day, we're seeing problems that look like this. 82 to something like 300 and let's go 40. So when the kids see this problem, I tell them the first step is to box their starting point. And what I want them to do is just identify where they're going to start and where they're going to end up. I tell them to draw hard around it because we love to end up at our goal. So we want to start at 82 and what they can do is use an empty number line to help them get to their goal. Using an empty number line means you start at the starting number 82 and you count on by ones, tens, or hundreds. The first step is to ask yourself should I count by ones, tens, or hundreds. 82 is not a nice number to count on by tens or hundreds. So I tell the kids we need to get to a benchmark number and a benchmark number is the next 10. Getting from 82 to the next 10 would mean we'd want to use ones. The next 10 is 90 so let's count by ones. 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. And we will label that benchmark right there. We also need to label what unit we used to get to this benchmark, keeping track of what we're using, staying organized, and writing down in unit form what we did. So we added how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. And we'll write it up here in unit form on top of our arc. But we're not done. We're not at our goal yet. Now, what, can we go, or what are we going to add by? Should we add by ones, tens, or hundreds? Well, we're at a benchmark number. That's a nice, even number. Let's add by tens. 90, 10 more would be 100. And look, now we're at another benchmark number, another 10. What did we do? Let's label it. We added 1, 10. But why did we stop at 100? Well, when we get to 100, we can now add faster by adding hundreds. Ones take a long time. Tens take a long time. Hundreds are really, really fast. So we get to our hundred, now let's add by hundreds. Still not at our goal yet, but we're getting closer. 100, 100 more, 200, 100 more, 300. Labeling what we did, we added one, two, hundreds. But we're not there yet. I'll ask the kids, why did we stop at 300? Why did we keep going with our hundreds? And they'll say, because it'll be, that's too much. We can't go anymore. We'll be over our goal. So once again, I stop and I ask myself, should I add by ones, tens, or hundreds to get to my goal? Well, we've already said that hundreds would be too much. Could we use ones or tens? Ones would take too long. Tens would be quicker. Let's use tens. 300. 310. 320, 330, 340. And look at that. I made it to my goal. I tell the kids, put a heart around it because we're so happy we made it. 340, but I'm not done. I need to label what I did. I counted by tens, but how many? One, two, three, four tens. It's so important that the kids label what they're doing up here because soon we'll be using empty number lines to help us add and subtract. We want the kids to be able to look quickly and say, okay, how many tens did I use? I used one ten, four tens. I used five tens. How many ones did I use? Eight ones. How many hundreds did I use? Two hundreds. And they'll be able to see the difference between these two numbers. If you have any questions, always feel free to write me a note, send me an email, give me a call, whatever you need to do, I'm here to help. Thanks.